Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a screen replacement, LCD replacement on a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And uh, and this is the T-Mobile version, but it's, uh, it's pretty much the same for every Galaxy Note 2 uh, version. And I'm sorry, I think this is actually it's a Sprint version, not the T-Mobile version. All right, so first thing you got to do is, uh, you know, take out the back cover, take out the battery, remove your SD card and, S and SIM card if you have one in there. And then you're going to remove with a small Phillips head screwdriver, you're going to remove uh, all these screws uh, around the, the frame. So here we go. So there should be a total of 11 screws to take out. Alright, and then once you have all the screws removed, you're going to take out the stillus, place it on the side. Alright, and then this phone, uh, to remove the back cover off, you're going to have to pry around the frame, around the bezel. You could do it with your fingernail or with an open plastic open prying tool. You're gonna kind of just squeeze your nail in there, and then just pull uh, back a little bit so that the clips unclip. Alright, once the top is uh, completely removed, you can pull it back. Well, and be careful with this clip down here because it's gonna stay uh, it's gonna stay stuck on there. So you gotta kind of wedge under there to get it out. There you go, with the, with the small Phillips head screwdriver, I was able to get it up. Alright, once you have that up, it should completely come apart. Alright, so once you have the back frame off, we're going to have to disconnect all the flex cables. You can start with this one down here, which is for the charger port, and remove this screw, another Phillips head screw. All right, you disconnect this antenna. Gonna disconnect this flex cable right here. All right, disconnect the antenna over here as well. With your fingernail, you can kind of just 
lift it up and this is the LCD cable disconnect that as well and the headphone jack alright we're gonna have to disconnect this antenna over here as well This is the front camera and proximity sensor. All right, and then there's going to be one more small Phillips head screw down here, black one. Alright, so with that removed, you can now lift up the motherboard. Lift it up carefully. Alright, and there is one more flex cable that I forgot to disconnect, which is this one right here. And that's for the power button and the vibrator motor. So there's the motherboard. Put that to the side. All right, we're going to have to remove this uh, Phillips head screw here, holding the headphone jack down. All right, so now to lift the charger port all you have to do is just kind of wedge under it down here and pull it up carefully it'll come off easily all right then you can remove this antenna which goes connected on the charger port So now we're going to remove the earpiece and the headphone jack. You can kind of just get into it here with the Phillips head screwdriver and lift it up a little bit. And then it's going to be held on here as well. You can kind of get, onto it, get under it here with the small Phillips head screwdriver and lift it up. And it will completely come off. Alright, and then there's going to be another Phillips head screw here, holding this metal bracket in place. That holds the front camera. And there it is. So you can take that out. And now you can remove the front camera and the proximity sensor. There you go. Alright, and then the last thing to remove is going to be the vibrator motor and the, and the power button, which is together one piece. So you're going to kind of get under it through here with the Phillips head screwdriver and lift it up. And watch out with the digitizer cable. There you go, so it came up. And then gently just pull on it so that it doesn't rip. You might have to get into it here with your nail or with an open prying tool just to separate this from the glue so it don't rip.
All right, there we go. So everything's completely taken apart. The only thing that's left on here is this uh, antenna, which I'm guessing would be for reception. So let's take that out as well. It has a, a Phillips head screw holding it in place. Just remove that. Lift up the antenna. And then with the open prying tool, we're going to have to get under it here and lift it up. Oh, flew off. <laughs> there you go. All right, so now once you have your your new LCD, which in my case is this one, the empty frame, I'm going to show you guys how to put it back together as well. All right, so first thing you do is place this antenna back on here. Make sure the antenna goes in through the, the slot. Let's place the screw on there. All right, then we're gonna do the power button and the vibrator motor. So we'll make sure the vibrator motor goes back in the same position. What's up, bro? All right, then we gotta put the headphone jack back in. The ear speaker. Front camera. And the proximity sensor. All right, we're going to place this bracket back on. And then let's place the screws back on, back in place. There's one Phillips head screw that holds the bracket in. And there's another one that holds the headphone jack in. All right, so once you have those uh, pieces back in, now we're ready to place the uh, charging port back in. So the charger port goes down here. And we gotta place the antenna back through the, through the, through the slot that it goes into. Right here. All right, so once you have the charger port back in, now we can put the motherboard back in. So to put the motherboard back in, I like to place it in up here first. And make sure that the camera fits in. You're gonna have to wiggle wiggle the cables around a little bit. Make sure that everything is out and where it's supposed to be. All right, so once the motherboard is uh, in place, then we can just, we can start connecting all the flex cables back on. Okay, and then remember there was a small Phillips head uh, black screw that went over here. Put that back on there. All right, and then this. Uh, the loudspeaker that goes in the bottom with the Phillips head screw. Alright, so once you have all that 
back in place and all the cables uh, are connected then we can just go ahead and place the back frame back on and all we gotta do is just squeeze it squeeze it on there squeeze it around all the edges make sure that it clicks in alright and then let's uh, place all the screws back on the frame Alright, so then place the stylus back on, the battery, SD card and SIM if you have, place the black back cover back on, and let's turn it on and see if the LCD screen turns on. Alright, there you go, so it looks like it's uh, turning on fine. I hope this video helped you guys, if it did please uh, like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.